Nintendo have certainly been making a name for themselves as of late by taking down things such as Project AM2R, the fan remake of Metroid 2, as well as of course the excellent Pokemon Uranium, and it seems that Sega is taking some shots at Nintendo by some comments that they made on a YouTube video recently. And they're showing a not only different attitude to Nintendo, but also a bit of a change in attitude from Sega as well. As of course, Sega themselves were not so great in the past. I'm sure Total Biscuit would like to have some words with them about their behaviour with them striking some of his videos due to Shining Force. Now I'm not going to go too deep into that as Paul has said that he wants to do a deep analysis of how Sega are changing, but I do still feel like it's worth calling attention to the very sort of different attitudes that these two companies from the same sort of era, you know, in our childhoods are displaying. So basically what happened is that there is a rather good tribute to Sonic the Hedgehog and it was played by the Game Grumps and they played Green Hill Paradise Act 2 and Sega noticed and commented on the YouTube video itself and they said quote be right back DMCA time just kidding keep making great stuff Sonic fans and at the time of recording this particular comment has 439 thumbs up and obviously most of the responses to it are pretty damn positive. As I said, Sega have had a bit of a mixed past when it comes to this sort of thing, but at least they are showing some signs of change here, unlike Nintendo who with their recent actions are showing that they're still very much stuck in their ways by their removal of AM2R and of course Pokemon Uranium and as well as the deletion of Mario Maker levels without explanation and yada yada yada. Nintendo uh, unfortunately, unfortunately have an attitude that's very much stuck in the past and it, Sega used to have the same thing as well but it is very heartening to not only see the savagery of this comment but also to see that they've had a bit of change of heart it seems. Because as I said about the whole AM2R and Pokemon Uranium thing with Nintendo, it's a bit silly to DMCA something that's already out in the wilds. You know, if you can let it be without it, you know, sort of maybe putting your trademarks on dodgy ground, then let it be because once it's out on the internet, it's out there. And obviously Sonic not only, un well not Sonic, sorry, Sega not only understands that, but is actively encouraging it because, well... If someone is that passionate about your game and that they want to make a fan game of it, you know, it's a compliment to you. And instead of going, hey, DMCA, you either just encourage them to make more or say, hey, do you want to work for us? Like Capcom did, for example. You know, before the Resident Evil 2 remake was officially announced, there were some guys making an unofficial one. And while that project is now dead in the water, because the official one's in the works, Capcom said, come and work for us. We want to get your perspective on it. You obviously have a lot of talent with what you've made. Come and work for us on the Resident Evil 2 remake. So it just shows some very different attitudes and how Nintendo is kind of being left in the dust with their stuck in the past attitudes, unfortunately. And they could definitely learn a thing or two, not only from Sega's newly found attitude, but also from Capcom and obviously the endless other amount of companies that encourage this sort of thing to be created. As I said, Paul will be doing a deeper analysis into this at some point within the next few days, so do keep your eyes peeled for that. But that is me done for this particular video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.